Hello everybody, it's Mr. Shillamore here again, doing something a bit different this week. Uh, thanks to those who watched my assembly about the NHS. Yes, there was a spelling mistake in there, you may have noticed. Um, that just goes to show you should always proofread your work, teachers and children. I've got my younger son Stanley with me here, helping out today. And we're going to show you how to make a cheese, ham and marmite bread pudding. But before I talk you through the ingredients and what we've got here and what you'll need to use, we must wash our hands. So, Stanley, let's get you over to the sink. Let's pop you down a moment. So, these are the things you're going to need. Now, tradi traditionally, I should say, a bread pudding was made as a dessert, a sweet thing, where you used up your old stale bread. So I've got eight slices of bread here. It's not the freshest, it's a little bit stale. That will actually work a bit better. We've got Marmite, or actually we've got as the zone Marmite, purely because it's cheaper. We've got butter, use that to butter the bread. If you haven't got butter, just use some sort of spread. We've got loads of cheese, we we'll need that, we'll cut that into slices and we'll be grating it. Four slices of ham, if you're a vegetarian or you don't like ham you could just do a cheese version or you could do tomato or you could find some of that corn style meat slices, you can change it up a little bit. Salt and pepper. Dad? Yeah. Now we've got the Marmite, yeah, not going to change it to Marmite. In here I've got chives, if you can't get hold of chives you could just leave that out, but that will make it nice and tasty. Salt and pepper, 600 millilitres of milk, which is just over a pint. Four eggs, let's just check, has she laid? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant, she's laid. And equipment you're going to need, you're probably going to need a jug. Possibly you could just rough out a pint of milk. A mixing bowl to mix your eggs and your milk together. A nice big dish to go in the oven, something like that if you've got it. And a cheese grater, just to grate a bit of cheese over at the end. Now, goes without saying, when you use the oven you get an adult to do that bit. So your first step is to put the oven on uh, about 180 degrees but get an adult to do that. Once your oven's on, you can start preparing the cheese, ham and marmite bread pudding. Wow. Right, I'm going to show you how to do it. So here we go, looks like an absolute winner, looks very nice. 
hopefully the oh the boys are gonna like it. That's a bit stuck that bit. Not easy to get it out in one piece. Okay. You might need a knife and fork to eat this, I don't know, but there we go. Is that about four bits? Yeah. Right, what do you think then boys? It's a bit hot, but how is it? Fantastic. It's gone in the umptious. Nice one. I love it. <laughs> um, you want to thank for your lunch or dinner?